Well, Fox 32 has information indicating the FBI has launched an investigation into controversial Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. Did the FBI agents you talked to seem serious about yes, your, very serious. your concerns? Very, very serious. Very. Lawrence Gardner owns a U-Haul rental and trucking business in South Suburban Dalton and says he went to the FBI several months ago, frustrated that the village of Dalton would not renew his business license. Gardner says he's been harassed and his business raided and shut down by Dalton police, he believes because he refused to make a donation to a civic event sponsored by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard. And I talked to um, a couple of agents and I explained them what was going on. I gave them all my paperwork to show them what was happening in court and what was happening in Dalton. And they told me they was investigating and they would be in touch with me. Gardner is one of six people who confirmed to Fox 32 that they've been interviewed by the FBI, ranging from Dalton business owners to a former village employee and at least one public official. And we've learned the FBI has been using electronic surveillance as part of its investigation. Agents are asking questions about Henyard's alleged use of taxpayer dollars and resources, including massive spending on out-of-town trips, hundreds of thousands of dollars in police overtime for her personal security detail, using public employees and tax dollars for personal benefit, and holding up licenses to certain businesses like this Dalton restaurant. I've heard rumors that say, hey, I'm on the wrong team. Dwayne Wood has been trying to renew the business license for his restaurant for nearly a year. While he has not talked to the FBI, he believes he can't get approved because he's provided catering to several Dalton trustees who are engaged in a political fight with Henyard. I think I've been just targeted because of my association affiliation with a certain group of people. You know, I had the trustees. I've, I've cooked for the trustees. And in a lawsuit filed by a Dalton towing company, the owner alleges their business license has been held up because, quote, George's Towing's refusal to support or contribute to Henyard's political campaign. In a statement, Dalton trustee Jason House reacted to the news of the FBI's involvement. We welcome any investigation that will bring transparency on how taxpayer dollars are being spent. Our residents deserve this level of financial transparency. But we want to tell you about the Illinois Attorney General's office now ordering a charity run uh, by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard to stop soliciting donations. The charity called Tiffany Henyard Cares failed to register with the Attorney General's office or disclose how much money it raised and how the money is being spent. Fox 32 first raised questions about her charity last year. Our investigation with the Illinois Answers Project found she was using public employees and taxpayer dollars to support the charity, including a $10,000 donation from Thornton Township, where she is supervisor. The AG's office says it is evaluating further action against the charity to protect donors and enforce state laws about charitable giving. Someone seen you go in there. And then two hours after your story airs, that police are at both of these establishments. More controversy in South Suburban Dalton. Two popular bars shut down by police just hours after the owners talked to Fox 32. Both of the Dalton bars that were raided and shut down last night, we visited the day before as part of our ongoing investigation into allegations of political corruption in Dalton. They just rushed in here, put police at the front of the door like they was doing a raid on the drug house or something. A team of Dalton police officers raided and shut down Pablo's Bar and Cafe and Rinky's Bar and Cafe, both located on Sibley about a block apart. Everything going peacefully, nothing going on. It's like 10 police cars came in and they start pushing customers from here. And he said, if you don't leave, we're going to lock you up. Employees and owners say it's part of an ongoing campaign of harassment by Dalton Mayor Tiffany Henyard that is costing jobs and money. Their business licenses have been stripped by Dalton, but they've continued to operate with a state license. I have like over 23 employees. They work from the local township. Now, end of the day, all the employees, they're going to lose them job. It's ridiculous. We all have mouths to feed. We all have kids. Uh, they're not giving us no explanation. On Monday, we visited both Rinkies and Pablos to ask about allegations their licenses were being held up for political reasons. Then last evening, we broke the story that FBI agents have questioned at least a half dozen people, including business owners, a former Dalton employee, and an elected official as part of an investigation into Mayor Henyard.
The grown-up thing would be for her to resign. Just get out of here, leave town. But she's not going to do that. You have disgraced this entire village and also disrespected each and every one of us. In a special board meeting tonight, Dalton trustees voting to investigate controversial mayor Tiffany Henyard. One trustee saying tonight that this is their last resort, their last stance. They cannot continue to stand by and see millions of dollars wasted. Tiffany Henyer didn't show up in person, but she was brought up in conversation and a vote. Motion passed to for resolution number 24-002 calling for investigation of Mayor Tiffany Henyer. The four trustee majority voting unanimously to call for an investigation into Henyard and what they say is the misuse of funds. The board of trustees has repeatedly asked for financial information uh, that we feel is entitled and has been denied that information. Uh, so we feel that we need to get intervention from somebody that can uh, can in, that can force this kind of uh, action. Who are you asking for, for for that intervention? What bodies? Uh, we're asking the FBI, state's attorney, attorney general and Cook County Sheriff's Office. They voted on items including asking for receipts for the mayor's trips and getting keys to Village Hall. This has been a stain on our community. It's no way that we should be locked out of a place where we pay taxes. You guys need to pause when it comes to order in here. You have to give respect. You guys want respect, y'all have to give. I am your leader. I am the one that won by 82%. I am the one that carry you, trustee Jason House, you, Kiana Belcher, that never wins anything over the hump. That's why you guys have your seats that you have before you. So when you get in these board meetings and you act a fool, y'all should stop. Because at the end of the day, all we've been doing, everybody, is fighting since I became mayor in the village of Dalton. I never thought in a million years that my team, the team that I ran with, including Allison Key for the clerk, would sit here and turn on me the way y'all did right what, a week, two weeks into taking office. That showed me that you guys would have been planning, plotting, meeting. People already been snitching on y'all this entire time. It's sad. But I sit here and I let y'all say whatever y'all want to say. But when other people want to talk, y'all want to interrupt, get mad, not let them get their point across. Y'all need to stop. If y'all want to be leaders, y'all got to act like it. Y'all know y'all not leaders. Y'all followers. Y'all are targeting people. That's discrimination. Everybody ain't got to talk because everybody talks. Everybody ain't got to say a comment because everybody talking. We sit here and I said, come on, y'all. Let's just go through the corporate bills. Let's just get through it. But we got to, everybody got a grandstand on their point. And then when I say something, now everybody got to say something back. Everybody want to come muscle me and they mad because I won't go. I'm tired of it. Stop with the mess. Everybody want to earn, but don't want to learn.